Hey folks, time for another video. Uh, this time, new toy. Might look like my Chines Kokatana, but it is not my Chines Kokatana. It's a it's a Chris Cutlery Ken Bone Two. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. Ken Bone, K A N B U N. It's got the nice heavy Masashi rings. It's a uh, 26 inch katana, and it really reminded me of the Skajero's profile. Um, so let's take it for its <coughs> inaugural test run. First cut. <coughs> dialing in that edge alignment. Good test for sharp, no doubt about it. Still getting the accuracy of it, but this thing is good. It's just me getting used to a new, new scar, new shape, 26 inches, everything's different. Not sure about the blue saga. It goes with my shirt though. I, I swear I had this on. I swear I didn't know it was a blue sagio on it. I had no idea. And <laughs> you match, you match. What can you do? Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye, hey, folks. I wanted to talk a little bit about the sword I used there. Today was a great day, like most of us have had. Uh, my Cult of Athena order showed up. And I ordered this Chris Cutlery Kanban 2 Katana uh, from him. It was a scratch and dent sale. 
and I've looked it over meticulously, and the only thing I can see, I can't even find it now. Anyway, there's a couple of chips. There's one. There's a chip or two in the Saya, and the case that it came in came marked Chips and Scabbard. So I guess this is it. Other than that, the sword's perfect. Um, it's got the heavy dual ring on it that I ordered from my Chines. It's got a different kind of Edo wrapped, and the Chines has more of a, a, a warning cloth. This is like a really new nylon kind of feel to it. Really nice. Um, as you saw, it takes a little getting used to a new sword. I didn't know it was coming with blue Sagio. I really didn't. It wasn't in the picture. Or at least I didn't notice. But, uh... It's growing on me, I like it. Matches my shirt. Um, sword is two kinds of steel folded together. 1060 and 9260. I just had to stop the video and go search it. Um, gives you a really nice grain pattern, hada, to the blade. You can see there's a temper line, there's a straight hamon on it. Like I said, it really, really reminded me of the Scudgero Forge's profile, and it still does. 26 inches is great. A nice, fast little thing. And uh, hoping it's going to take over backyard cutting duties. Really looking forward to using it some more and dialing in the edge and performance out of it. Oops, there you go. But hey, one more good look at it. We'll be seeing lots of each other. Probably leaving out all kinds of important things. Anyone has any questions, let me know. Post in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer you. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye.